Hello, everybody. I'm forecaster Dustin Staples, and we will welcome you to the Thursday uh, forecast. It's going to be a pretty nice day ahead of us out there. Definitely feeling like an early taste of summer than it is rather spring. Tempers are going to be soaring in the 80s as we go into the next couple of days. We see some light rain shower chances moving on in for the weekend. We're going to see a slightly cooler start going into next week, but again, that is going to be very short lived as we go in for the time. Already early this morning, early afternoon, getting up in the 70s already for most of us. Still hanging on to a few 60s out the door too. Not as uh, humid, so it's very comfortable as you step out the door. Now, typically if this was a summertime pattern, we'd be seeing high humidity levels, but we're not seeing that anytime soon. Now again, the latest radar data showcasing our first alert radar. Not much falling from the sky, scanning either. And you kind of can see a big old storm system complex is back to the Midwest here is producing several severe thunderstorms back from Indiana, Illinois here all the way back uh, to Iowa. There kind of could see that storm system there. Meanwhile, it's producing another winter wonderland in parts of Colorado, so they're going to be expected to see at least a foot to up two feet of snow out in that general direction. So no snow here, but more so of a summer time pattern than anything else. That's going to be the benefit of today. Going out the rest of the afternoon, really not much to talk about. Maybe a few high clouds here or there, but generally speaking, temperatures are going to feel very comfortable tomorrow morning. Will not be as cold as we were with this morning in the 40s out the door. We're going to be waking up in the 50s tomorrow morning on your Friday, starting things out pretty quiet with a few clouds passing on by. We'll warm up to the low 80s tomorrow on your Friday with a few showers, very hit or miss, but again, it's not going to be raining all day, so it's going to be more so kind of a spotty variety. Now, after midnight and going in to the start of Saturday morning there, that's when we see the rain starts to pick on up later in the morning midnight hours well after that. So it's waking up to some spotty showers early Saturday morning, but it's not going to be enough uh, to create any cancellations on that matter too. Winds are going to remain pretty calm today, especially going on tomorrow. Coming in out of the south here, we'll be cranking them up as we go into Friday about 15 to 25 miles an hour. That's the windy occasions on that note too. We'll eventually see breezes coming in out of the north. They'll cool things down just a little bit here. So again, our wind gust forecast may be picking up 25, 35 miles an hour later on the day on Friday. So on that note, that's going to be what we're watching in for as we go into time. Now, some much good news for our drought monitor. The latest update as of today showcases much of us not at a moderate drought. We've got the exception of parts of uh, Pitt County, Lenore County. They're under that level too, but later on, most of our viewing areas kind of abnormally dry if not seeing anything on that note too. So on that, uh, the plus side of that, we're seeing the good chances of rain that's been helping us out so far the month of March is so far one of our west at this say this year. So on uh, continue Continuation of the weekend, we'll see those spotty showers here or there through Saturday. We clear out later on the day on Saturday. Not going to be a washout by no means. First thing Sunday morning, pretty quiet. Nothing really going to be hindering your events. If you're heading out to church or errands this weekend on Sunday, you should be good to go. Now, later on the night, Sunday and Monday, we may see the storm system still kind of data is kind of going back and forth as we may see some coastal showers when all of this as will be set and done. Most inland areas will say less than a quarter of an inch of rain. Now, of course, baseball is back tomorrow as Columbia is in town for us at six o'clock tomorrow and evening at 80 degrees. Southwesterly breeze. We've got a 20% chance of rain right there too. High today getting up in the low 80s. Really beautiful afternoon with sunny skies. We'll call it that kind of cool to warm as this hit today. We'll see a similar story once again. Not as cold as it was last night as temperatures will be going back in the 50s there. Generally speaking, there's slight chance of showers Friday night. Calm and quiet as we go in to your Sunday. We may see another system moving in later on your day on St. Patrick's Day. Right now looking pretty good for any festive course down at the Emerald Isle. Uh, festive event uh, looking pretty good. First day of spring is going to feel like the first day of winter as high as hold in the 50s.